so hello guys welcome to the web technology lab videos so this is assignment number four so we'll in first video we have covered these three steps now we'll go for next step so now we'll create other php files that is register.php login.php and welcome.php so i'm going in sublime text editor so see already we have uh, created this file dbconnect.php for database connection We'll create a new file. I'll save this file in my project folder. So I'll give the name register.php and then I'll type the PHP tag here. Okay, so here we have to connect our database. Okay, so to connect the database, so we are already uh, we are uh, we have already written the file dbconnect.php. So that file I will include here and then pop required underscore once okay so this will ask for you the file name so i'll write my file name here dbconnect.php so in php remember in php you can include your file with the help of required underscore once and you can your, provide there your file name now after that we'll write the code for registration forms already the registration form code has been written in assignment number one so I'll just copy and paste my code here. So I'll open my code which is stored. So this is the registration form code. So I will copy and paste in my this PHP file. So here we'll start. So we'll go for next step here. That is we to check the we have to access the inputs okay so whatever the inputs are uh, we have taken in this form that inputs we have to access that values we have to access here and then we'll go for database storage okay so here i'll write if it's set okay so it's set dollar underscore post in bracket my button name so here login button name that is submit button name is submit so I'll check whether my submit button has been clicked or not here so that I can check with the help of its name so after this inside this if log I want to do I want to access the values so I'll define okay I'll define the variables Okay, so but before this, if I'll define my variables, all the variables that is username is equal to password, then is equal to first name equal to last name equal to gender equal to then email equal to dollar course equal to mobile equal to blank okay empty value i will assign this uh, all the variables so now i will use all these variables in my this e block so here i will use username equal to i'll use a trim function here so trim will discard will discard the white spaces and other symbols special symbols so that we need uh, we don't need in uh, in our uh, input because uh, that will lead to the malicious code so use trim function so inside trim function i'll access the value of my field with the help of dollar underscore post so this global variable uh, yeah, global variable you, uh, you can use for accessing your accessing your uh, uh, text uh, input values okay so your dollar underscore post you have to use inside this you have to provide your field name that is my field name is username then i will use dollar password is equal to trim in bracket post okay and then password so this thing i will repeat for all the uh, variables so next is first name then here I'll write the name first name so oh. 
so here we'll copy and paste again so we'll have to replace last name here we'll replace last name then next thing is gender so here gender then email they will access our next that is course again course then finally we'll access our mobile number so mobile and here i will use Okay, so here we have access all the variable values. So uh, I'll write in comment access the values of input fields. Okay, so after accessing this, what you have to do that is you have to use one query. So I'll write SQL is the dollar SQL is equal to in double quote. I'll write the query that is I want fire here insert into uh, which. Or table you are, I want to insert in student table I want to insert these values so in bracket in parenthesis I will write all uh, all the column names that is username comma password comma first name comma last name comma gender comma email comma uh, course comma mobile okay these are all my column names that I want to put here in insert into query so what values i want to insert in this uh, columns so i'll write values in bracket i am having the variables in which i have already stored my input field values so i'll write here in single code i'll write username then in single code i'll write dollar password then in single code i'll write dollar first name then in single quote i'll write last name then in single quote i'll write gender then in single quote i'll write email then in single quote i'll write i'll write course and finally i'll write in single quote i'll write mobile okay so here we have access uh, we have or define a query a skill query a skill statement that we want for inserting the data in the table so then after this we'll again do one thing that is i'll write here l sql or here i will write a uh, dollar query is equal to so to execute this query so there is a function that is uh, my skill i underscore query that you can use for uh, executing this query so mysql underscore query which is having two parameters first your database connection parameter so after that you have to, uh, uh, you have to provide your sql query so that is stored in sql for variable only uh, already so after this when uh, i'll check whether this query has been executed or not successfully so i'll check with the help of if condition so if uh, if it executes properly it will return some value that is one so i'll see that value i'll check that value if it, uh, if it returns the uh, uh, non-zero value then i'll display here i'll display one alert box so i'll write here script tag inside echo <coughs> then you in this single quotation i'll write registration so you are registered you are registered you are registered successfully okay so this statement i will write here then in else block i'll write Sorry, 
error okay so here i'll write if it fails i'll write this statement i'll display this statement so again i'll write it in script tag load like here a lot okay so this i have done here so i check whether my login button has been clicked or not after that i have accessed the values i have defined the sql query so define SQL query here. I have defined SQL query. Then I have executed with the help of this line, this function MySQL underscore query. So I have executed the SQL query. And then I will check whether it is executed properly or not. Okay. So that we have done here. So this and write something okay else so this is the registration form that we have done okay so now we'll try to execute this form here so i'll go to web browser here i'll go to my project folder so there is a practical the project folder is or directory is practical so in that I have gone here localhost slash practical. So it will show db current.php and register.php. So I'll click on register.php. So it is showing this form. So I'll write here uh, the name is the name. Then I will write a password. So I'll write here first name. Then mail ID. Class mobile number and then submit. So it is showing you are successfully registered. Now we'll show in database whether it is it has been successfully inserted or not. So how to see you know that there is a web tool that is PHP my admin. So launch PHP my admin and go to your here my database is student info in student info. I have created a student table. So go in student table. Now you can see that the data has been <coughs> inserted here. All the data has been inserted here properly. So this is about your registration form. So we'll stop here today. Okay. So remaining uh, form, login form, and remaining things we'll cover in next video. So don't forget to like my video like share and comment my video and also don't forget to subscribe my channel so thank you for watching my video we'll meet in next video so thank you bye bye